Hi there, welcome to end to end solution architect another session. In this session, I will be discussing about mathematical symbols and code syntax in Jupyter Notebook. Those who are working with Python and Jupyter Notebook, they might have experienced at some point of time that how to write the mathematical formula in Jupyter Notebook. Here in this presentation, I will talk about that. I have collected all the useful formulas and how to write them in Jupyter Notebook as well as few handy tips for Jupyter Notebook. So if you are the beginner with Jupyter Notebook or intermediate or expert in Python or Jupyter Notebook, this session will be helpful for you. So let's begin. Here as I am showing the Jupyter Notebook, I will be sharing the whole code from my GitHub repository. Well, so before that, I'm just showing you what is the agenda for this Jupyter Notebook session. It is, I'll be covering about Jupyter Notebook menus. For the beginners, it will be very helpful that which icon stands for what. Then what is markdown? Then what is markdown? How to mark down a cell? Headings, line break, bold and emphasize, font color, underline and how to make a label italic. Also how to create a link, how to make a quote, horizontal line, bullet, number list and most specifically these two pointers where I will show you how to create a code or syntax highlight and last but not the least, the most important one how to write mathematical symbols in Jupyter Note. In this session, I am not going into detail because I'll be sharing this whole Jupyter Notebook file. You can get the complete script and copy paste for your purpose. Here is the syntax which talks about if you want to put a code snippet or want to show the syntax highlight in Jupyter Notebook, how can you do that? So so you have to start with this syntax and you will get, suppose the code snippet you are writing about a very small code snippet which I have written, def check out these three lines of code and it is showing perfectly as a code highlighted syntax. Okay, the next one is the mathematical symbol. The basic of writing a mathematical symbol in Jupyter Notebook is you should start with dollar sign and end with dollar sign. You see that if you need to write the mathematical syntax, then the script in Jupyter Notebook, it will start with dollar and end with dollar and square root means backward slash SQRT and you start a curly brace to put this part of the mathematical expression under square root. I have collected this information to put it in a single page so that it can be very handy and useful for all level of developers or data science. I will share this notebook file in this video description. If you have any query, I will be happy to help you. Thank you for your time. See you in my next session. Thank you.